So it's really honestly finishing the job that we started last session uh, to make sure we protect the integrity of not just girls sports, but women's sports as well. Well, last year, lawmakers in Texas passed the Save Girls Sports Act, requiring students up through high school to compete on teams aligned with their biological sex. Now, a new state bill is aimed at doing the same for college athletes. Our in-depth reporter, Alicia Nespreto, has more on the Save Women's Sports Act. Basketball has been a part of Cassie Comer's life for as long as she can remember. I grew up watching my older brother play basketball, so kind of ran into the family. And when she took up the sport herself, she fell in love. I love it. And people always ask me, they're like, man, you're so tall. Do you play basketball? And I, I can say, yeah, I actually do. Her passion has grown throughout the years, landing her a scholarship and a spot on Midwestern State University's women's basketball team. She now uses her platform as a college athlete to support other female athletes and policy she says will protect them, like the Save Women's Sports Act currently making its way through the state legislature. There is a biological difference when you see a man playing a sport versus a woman playing the same sport. If passed, the bill would require college athletes to compete on sports teams based on their biological sex, meaning transgender people would not be able to perform on teams aligned with their gender identity. Women are the ones being hurt. They're the ones that are losing scholarships, losing roster spots, possibly even getting hurt playing up, going up against these men in women's sports. Comer believes transgender women have a biological advantage, and she says this bill would help keep college sports fair. When you are going up against other women, you feel like it's a reasonable goal. You have this sight ahead of you where, okay, I just have to be stronger than her or faster than her, and that is a possible goal. But if you throw men into the mix, then it becomes this unattainable goal of, well, I cannot be faster than a man. I cannot be stronger than a man because there is a biological difference. This bill comes just one year after the Save Girls Sports Bill passed, which set the same restrictions for students through high school. There can be a lot more at risk, right? Because you're talking about scholarships. You're talking about places on teams. Um, you're talking about records that, you know, take almost a lifetime uh, to be able to, through have hard work and practice, to be able to, to break. Senator Mays Middleton introduced the bill earlier this year. He calls it a simple fairness issue with bipartisan support from lawmakers. Look, there are too many women and too many generations of women that have come before us today that have fought too hard for the opportunity to compete um, to not do this bill. While the senator says there's a lot of support inside the Capitol, hundreds of protesters met outside the Capitol earlier this week to rally against this and other anti-trans bills. The objective is simply just to continue marginalizing uh, trans people and, and pushing the narrative that trans people are deceptive uh, and, and dangerous. Landon Ritchie was one of the speakers at that event. He says this bill, along with many others introduced this session, can be harmful for young transgender people. Being told time and time again that you don't deserve to play in sports with your friends, uh, you don't deserve the same protection uh, or dignity as your peers, uh, really manifests in, in depression and suicidal thoughts and, and ostracization for a community that is already so marginalized. Speakers hope to get their message across to lawmakers on Monday, urging them to vote against this bill because they say it makes no sense. There is no threat of having a trans woman play with cisgender women. Um, no inherent advantage, no competitive prowess over anybody else. If there was a rash of, of men pretending to be trans women to dominate women's sports, then we would see like people claiming to be trans women dominating women's sports, but we don't. Trans people have been allowed in the Olympics for 17 years and it's not, it's not a thing. With the future of so many athletes on the line, both sides say they just want what is fair. The majority of people don't agree with, with segregating trans people from, from our peers. It's about protecting me and all the other women who are out there trying to play the sport that they love. Alicia Nespreto, CARE HD News.